Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching Psycho from 1960, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Now, I can confidently say this is the oldest movie I will have ever have watched. So that's actually going to be pretty exciting, seeing what the movies were like all the way from 1960. I've heard this movie is an absolute classic. It still holds up really well even today. Now, I will say, I know about this movie, is it has like a super famous shower scene. I definitely recognize that. I don't really know the context about that scene, but I just know it's like this girl in the shower and like there's just a super famous photo of her like gasping you know but anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this movie if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well as early access to the next horror movie that i do will also be available on patreon or youtube membership so click the join button down below but anyways let's get started this is also the first full black and white movie i will have ever seen too and the first alfred hitchcock movie so that's pretty cool why don't you call your boss and tell him you're taking the rest of the afternoon off? This is the last time. Yeah. For what? For this. Meeting you in secret, so... What do we do instead? Write each other lurid love letters? Oh, I have to go, Sam. I haven't even been married once yet. Yeah, but when you do, you'll swing. Oh, Sam, let's get married. And live with me in a storeroom behind a hardware store in Fairvale. We'll have lots of laughs. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, you can lick the stamps. I'll lick the stamps. <laughs> Marion, you want to cut this off? Go out and find yourself somebody available? I'm thinking of it. My mother's doctor gave them to me the day of my wedding. Teddy was furious. Or perk 90. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, oh, not, not you. My daughter. A baby. And tomorrow she stands her sweet self up. I want you to take a look at my baby. Sure. And she never had an unhappy day in any one of those years. I'm buying this house for my baby's wedding present. Forty thousand dollars cash. <sighs> Bro was balling for 1960. <laughs> my grandma bought her house in like the 50s, I think. Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> That's insane. I don't even want it in the office over the weekend. Put it in the safe deposit box in the bank, and we got him to give us a check on Monday instead. He was flirting with you. I guess he must have noticed my wedding ring. Bro has the worst riz of all time. Mm, she went home first before putting the money in the bank. Oh wait, is she bouncing? She has a lot of clothes packed. Mmm. Yeah, she's dipping. She's taking this money and running. She's bouncing. It looks like she feels guilty about it, though. She's like, ah, I don't really know if I want to do this. Is her boss? <laughs> Dude, this movie looks really good for 1960. <laughs> like, like, that close-up shot of her looked amazing. Yes, I didn't intend to sleep so long. Have I broken any laws? No, ma'am. Then I'm free to go. Is anything wrong? Of course not. Am I acting as if there's something wrong? Yes. Frankly, yes. Please, I'd like to go. Well, is there? I've told you there's nothing wrong, except that I'm in a hurry and you're taking up my time. May I see your license? <laughs> The music's really good, too. Mm. Yeah, he wasn't following you. Just, just going the same way for a bit. Then he got off on his exit. But yeah, she's really paranoid. Mm. He was following her. Can I trade my car in and take another? Well, why don't you have a look around here and see if there's something to strike your eyes. Meanwhile, I'll have my mechanic give you the once over. You want some coffee? I was just about no, to... No, thank you. I'm in a hurry. This dude likes to talk. You mean you don't want the usual day and I have to think it over? Nope. You are in a hurry, aren't you? Somebody chasing you? Of course not. Please. What? Well, your car plus $700? Hmm. 700 Ah, uh, you always got time to argue money, huh? All right. Yeah, she has 40 bands. Take it you can prove that car is yours. I mean, uh, out-of-state license and all, uh, you got your pink slip and your... I believe I have the necessary papers. Yeah, he thinks he's being household right here, like, hmm. Hey, uh, 
Might as well be perfectly honest with you, ma'am. It's not that I don't trust you, but... Uh... Mm. But what? Making a decision and wanting to hurry? Do you think I've stolen my car? Oh, ma'am. That, that car over there. You know, the salesman saw that car. He's like, uh... Oh, the cops are not even going to try and stop hey! me. Oh. Oh, her, her stuff. Just put it in here, please. Is the cop going to say anything? Or just... Alright. It's just one of those things where, like, the cop's not actually there or something. Because he, like, he didn't say anything and, like, she thinks the cop is following her or something. And in reality, he's not. This cop is just in her head. Because of how guilty she's feeling about taking the money and running off with it. I think it might be one of those things. She's just like, this is probably what they are saying about me. Where are you gonna hide it? I'll wrap it up in the newspaper. Yep. So, yeah, that looks way less suspicious, yeah. I tell you, no. I won't have you bringing strange young girls in for supper. Hmm. Why, or do I have to tell her because you don't have the gut? Huh, boy? You have I was grilling him. It might be uh, nicer and warmer in the office. Just too officious. I have the parlor back here. Hmm. Okay. It's all for you. I'm not hungry. Go ahead. Damn, a lot of food just for one person. Dude, this one's a fucking weirdo. He just wants to watch her eat. Like a bird. Mm. You'd know, of course. Yeah, he has little birds. Type. Anyway. Okay. Because birds really eat a tremendous lot. I I can't tell if he's just like nice, but just like kind of awkward, you know? Or he's just actually a weirdo. To begin with. It's a strange hobby. Yeah. What, do you want taxidermy her or something? It's, it's more than a hobby. Mm. <laughs> a hobby's supposed to pass the time, not fill it. Is your time so empty? Well, I, I run the office. Do mm. you go out with friends? No, he doesn't have any. Well, a, a boy's best friend is his mother. Yeah. What are you running away from? Why do you ask that? <laughs> We're all in our private traps, clamped in them. We never budge an inch. Sometimes we deliberately step into those traps. I was born in mine. I don't mind it anymore. Oh, but you should. Yeah. Oh, I do. <laughs> but I say I don't. Dude, you gotta get out of the house. You gotta touch grass, my boy. I feel I'd like to go up there and curse her and, and, and leave her forever. But I know I can't. She's ill. When he died, too, it was just too great a shock for her. And the way he died... I guess there's nothing to talk about while you're eating. Okay, two love interests died back to back. She killed them. She had nothing left. Except you. Well, a son is a poor substitute for a lover. I hate what she's become. I hate the illness. People always call a madhouse someplace, don't they? Put her in someplace. I'm sorry. And the cruel eyes studying you. But she's harmless. She's as harmless as one of those stuffed birds. Okay, buddy. She needs me. It's not as if she were a, a maniac, a raving thing. Just get in there. She just goes a little mad sometimes. We all go a little mad sometimes. We all go a little mad sometimes. Haven't you? Oh, you, you're not uh, you're not going back to your room already? Yeah, you creep me the f*** out, bro. <laughs> and I'll have a long drive tomorrow, all the way back to Phoenix. I stepped into a private trap back there and... I'd like to go back and try to pull myself out of it. Mm. Before it's too late for me, too. Are you sure you wouldn't like to stay just a little while longer? I'm good. Just for talk? No. Well, uh, I'll see you in the morning. I'll bring you some breakfast, all right? <laughs> no, you won't. I'll be gone. Oh, yeah, this dude's such a weirdo. This dude's a weirdo. Watch, she's gonna like smell the food that she didn't eat, but she touched, or like some shit like that. <laughs> always, always listening. Oh my god. So, okay, so I know about the shower scene. So, like, what does he try and murder her in the shower or something? Or did he 
down, buddy. Just going back to his house. Watch, dude, watch him just murder his mom or something. It's like, now he thinks like she's holding him back because he can't leave her. See how, yeah, see how much money she's spent. Like, yeah, you already spent some of his money. You have to pay that back. Like the car, you're going to have to pay back that $700 if you go back. That's a lot of money back then. <laughs> Oh my god, you get in the shower before even turning the water on? I already know that water was cold as hell. It's Norman. Wait, who the fuck is that? Oh, is that his mom? Kind of, because the hair looks different. Yeah, I think that's his mom, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so I guess it's not one of those movies where she thinks like the cop was following her, but in reality, it was just in her head. I, it's uh, no, she's dead. <laughs> mother, oh God, mother, blood. Get the mom didn't like like her or whatever, but dude, she was just buying her business. It's not like she went into your house actually. Damn. Well, dude, we're only fifty minutes into the movie. What the. F what is this movie gonna be about then? <laughs> about 58 minutes left. Oh, I thought that was a shotgun. <laughs> I was like, wait, is he about to go kill his mom? <laughs> no, that's <it's> a mop. <laughs> Before he like walked out, it look, look, didn't look like a mop. Mm. Where is he going? Oh, he's gonna put the body in the car. He'll probably just drive the car somewhere and just dump it. <laughs> He's gonna find the money because he's trying to clean up everything and then he grabs a newspaper and he's like, wait, it's like this doesn't feel right and he's just gonna open it and be like, oh my god. Oh, wait, what if he just forgets about the newspaper? Oh, wait, 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 no, what if he just like throws it away or something? Ah, that'd be so shitty. Oh. Yeah, okay, it didn't feel like weird to him or anything, it just felt normal. He's too distracted thinking about cleaning up and getting rid of the body and everything. It's, yeah, didn't even notice. Oh no, oh shit. Ah, oh, it's gonna sink. Smart, it's tough. All the money in there too. I took a quick uh, bathroom break. I just looked up how much $40,000 would be worth in 1960 and it said around 413,000, so yeah. And what's funny is I looked up how much was 40,000 worth and then Google's auto filled 1960. <laughs> Let's see how this movie came out. So, you know, it's tough that he put the money in the trunk and he'll never get that, but at least he'll never know. <laughs> Suppose this one seems to claim more and better qualities than lots of the others. Oh, I thought that was her for a second. It was like, yes, miss. I'm Marion's sister. Okay. That's why it looked like her. Something wrong. Yeah, she dead. He left home on Friday. I was in Tucson over the weekend. And I haven't heard from her since this, but I want to talk to Marion and I want her to tell me it's none of my business and then mm. I'll go. Is Marion in trouble? Let's all talk about Marion, shall we? My name is Arbogast, friend. I'm a private investigator. Well, $40,000. Your girlfriend stole $40,000. Sam, they don't want to prosecute. They just want the money back. Sam, if she's here. She isn't. I think she's here, Miss Crane. <laughs> Dude, Norm's gonna fold so quick. <laughs> what was it you wanted to ask? Well, you see, I'm looking for a missing person. We have reason to believe that she came along this way, may have stopped in the area. Did she stop here? Do you mind looking at the picture before committing yourself? <laughs> Registered under another name. Do you mind if I look at your book? Get the date somewhere. There's nobody. Probably took that page out. Clear all the traces, you know. Marie Samuels. Is it Marion? Samuels. Her boyfriend's name is Sam. Well, tell me all about her. Left early the next morning. Hmm. Which morning was that? Uh, the, um, the, 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 the next morning. The Sunday. <laughs> I see. He's folding. Make a mental picturization of something. That's right. That's right. Take the time. Um, she was, she was. He knows his bullshit. <laughs> it's not coming together. Something's missing. Yeah. Listen, if you don't believe me, come on. Come on with me. You can help me yeah. change beds, okay? I mean, he cleaned the room, but how well did he clean it? 
Oh, he thinks the mo his mom is her, huh? And he's gonna be like, I need to go check out that house. Is anyone at home? Oh, that, that, uh, that must be my mother. Uh, it's, uh, it's pr Yeah, see, he already doesn't believe Norm. He already thinks Norm's bullshitting, so... This, uh, girl, Marion Crane, were here. Yeah. You wouldn't be hiding her, would you? But she didn't fool my mother. Well, then your mother met her. Could I, could I talk to your mother? Mm. I think I've talked to you all I want to. You sure would save me a lot of legwork if you let me talk to her. All right. Thanks, anyway. From the detective's perspective, it 100% seems like Norm is hiding her. But Norm's just hella nervous because he had to get rid of the body. And uh, yeah. Marion was up here. Well, I did question him, believe me. But uh, I think I got all there was to get. Well, I tell you, I don't feel like entirely satisfied. Uh, See, this boy had a sick old mother. No, no, unfortunately, he wouldn't let me see her. No, you stay there with Loomis. I'll be back in about an hour. Is Norm going to kill this detective because he's actually like, on to him? Norm wouldn't let him talk to his mom because his mom would tweak, probably. And probably just straight up admit, yeah, I killed her. <laughs> and then try and kill the detective or something. <laughs> he's just going to go in the house because he he's convinced Marion is in there. Oh, he's just going to walk right in. He's just going to help himself. <laughs> Mm, wow, what a shot. Damn. Oh my god. Oh yeah, mom. Damn, this mom was a fucking psycho. Name of the movie. But oh my god. That scared the fuck out of me. The, it's the music that got me. That music jump scared me. Yeah, the mom just wasted no time, just murdered him. Well, are we just going to sit mm. here and wait? Damn, he really didn't dump that car that far away. But I mean, no one's ever gonna think they'll look there. Oh, is Norm gonna try and kill Sam? I feel like Halloween took inspiration from this movie by the way the mom was like holding the butcher knife. That's what Michael does. It's probably inspired Halloween a bit. She's been here searching for her sister, and that he traced her to that motel out on the old highway. That must be the Bates Motel. She stole some money. A lot. Yeah. Well, I think there's something wrong too, miss. But not the same thing. I think what's wrong is your private detective called you to keep you still while he took off after her and the money. No. He wouldn't he wouldn't have done that. I mean shit, maybe. Your detective told you he couldn't come right back because he was going to question Norman Bates's mother, right? Yes. Norman Bates's mother has been dead and buried in Green Lawn Cemetery for the past 10 years. Okay. Okay. Who the fuck is, then who's in the house? Who's, and what girl is that? They're just murdering everyone. Maybe it was a fake death. The woman I saw sitting in the window out there wasn't Bates' mother? Yeah. Now, are you sure you saw an old woman? Yes. Well, if the woman up there is Mrs. Bates, who's that woman buried out in Green Lawn Cemetery? Okay, okay. We couldn't really see her face when she stabbed Arbogast and when she killed her in the shower. So, saw what the mom looks like briefly in the shower scene. So, it's probably his mom, but it's probably like a Frankenstein thing going on here. Like a Michael Myers thing, I don't know. Because, like, saw her face briefly and it, it did look kind of weird. That's why she's, like, insane or something. Norman's, like, trying his best to keep her alive or something. He said he was in, like, taxidermy, so he, like, rebuilt her or some shit. He, like, taxidermy and his mom or something. No, Mother, he came after the girl and now someone will come after mm. him. Mother, please, it's just for a few days. Just for a mm. few days so they won't find you. Yeah, there's something, there's something wrong with the mom. Don't you touch me, don't! Norman! Put me down. Yeah, you can't. Uh, oh, maybe she looks normal right there. I don't know. You couldn't see her face, but like her hair looked normal. Just search every inch of the place, inside and out. Mm. Yeah, he sus of them. Suppose you want a rum. I'll get your bags. Haven't any. Mm. I'll show you the room then. First time I've ever seen it happen. You check in any other place in this country without bags and you have to pay in advance. Ten dollars. It's kind of a lot. It's like a hundred bucks, relative. All right, there's yours. Yeah, he's he's definitely says of them. Them not having bags is pretty big giveaway. Something that proves he got that money away from Marion somehow. I could tell the last time I talked to him on the mm. phone. He wouldn't have gone anywhere or done anything without telling us unless he was stopped. So he must have found out something. 
I'll start with Kevin one. Bates. Wow, I'm shocked he checked. I feel like in most movies they wouldn't they wouldn't have done that. They would have just try to walk right in the room. I don't find Bates and keep him occupied. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah, you heard everything. Okay, you know, there's a hole in the wall and you can just hear. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, it's just a mirror. Okay, okay. I think if you saw a chance to get out from under, you'd unload this place. Do what? Buy a new one. In a new town where you won't have to hide your mother. But you already have it. Socked away. Shut up! A lot of it. Forty thousand dollars. I bet your mother knows where the money is and what you did to get it. I think she'll tell us. Where's that girl you came here with? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. The jump cut got me. <laughs> oh, she's going down this elevator. Oh. Alright, he didn't see her. Alright. Oh my god, what the? Mrs. Bates. Dude, we're gonna see it. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, all the skin on her face is peeled off. <gasps> wait, what the? Wait, what? Wait, who the fuck? Is, who, is this no? Wait, wait, I just realized. I just realized. Norm dresses up as his mom to kill people? <laughs> Okay, so his mom actually is dead, and that's, yeah. Okay, yeah, so Norm is the crazy one. Okay, Norm's the f***ing psycho. But not from Norman. I got it from his mother. Norman Bates no longer exists. Yeah. Only half existed to begin with. Mm-hmm. Did he kill my sister? Yes. And no. Well, yeah. now look. Yes and no. That's a good twist. That's a really good twist. Uh, have you any unsolved missing persons cases on your <laughs> Yes. <laughs> They're all there. That is, from the mother half of Norman's mind to the time when Norman murdered his mother and her lover. And it seemed to Norman that she threw him over for this man. And that pushed him over the line and he killed them both. He stole her corpse. A weighted coffin was buried. Mm -hmm. Give her half his life, so to speak. At times, he could be both personalities, carry on conversation. And because he was so pathologically jealous of her, he assumed that she was as jealous of him. If he felt a strong attraction to any other woman, the mother's side of him would go wild. That makes sense. He did like Marion. Covered up all traces of the crime he was convinced his mother had committed. Mm-hmm. These were crimes of passion, not profit. Probably watching me. Well, let them. Mm. Let them see what kind of a person I am. I'm not even gonna swat that fly. Why, she wouldn't even harm a fly. Mm, damn, look at that smile. Oh, and the teeth line up. Oh. Oh, they're getting that money back, bro. <laughs> Alright, well, that was Psycho. No end credits to it. You want to know why? Because they're all at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> Just kidding. This movie was good. This movie was really good. <laughs> I had expectations of it being good, but it was even better than what I expected. That was a really, really good twist in it too. See, it was a pretty bold decision to kill Marion like 50 minutes into the movie. I thought she was going to be on the run or something. And then I thought they were trying to switch it up on us and be like, hey, and be like, oh no, the cop she saw is just in her head. Everyone she's running from is just in her head. But no, no, not. I was completely wrong. I thought maybe like, oh, this could be where that concept actually originated from. But no, it kind of, it kind of did with norm i guess but it's not not exactly it's similar but it's not the same but then it became about trying to find out what happened to marion and the detective going after her and then sam and her sister going after her, trying to figure it out and okay so i figured they weren't showing the mom for like her face for a reason i thought it was because like she was some frankenstein shit because you know he said he he talked about how he liked the taxidermy birds and stuff so i was like maybe he did that to his mom but then i was like how is she alive then like like something unnatural is going on just for the sake of the movie but no it was just norm which was actually a really good twist i didn't see that coming at all it makes sense when he ran into the room dressed as his mom i was like i was confused for a second i was like wait who the f 
this and then i was like oh wait, that's norm dressed as his mom and i was like oh and then it hit me they and i like how they explain everything at the end right there telling you okay like what's going on with norm and stuff i was gonna say like but then he just started explaining it so i was like okay i'll just let him do it really really solid plot and twist like yeah they just switch up the plot on you halfway through the movie like okay this movie is not what you thought it was gonna be about and i was really curious to see where this movie would go and it did not disappoint and i i didn't even mind that this movie was in black and white honestly I didn't think it was gonna bother me, but I thought it would feel weird, but no, it, it felt natural. It felt right, actually. It actually felt right for the movie. Like, okay, this might be, like, weird to say, but as I was watching it, like, it didn't take me out of the movie at all. I could still, like, picture the colors in my head where it was like, oh, okay, I, I see what this, this scene would actually look like. Recall ah, fuck me, my memory card just died. But yeah, that was Psycho. Comment down below what you thought about this movie, down below in the comments, and if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching. recall ah fuck me my memory card just died all right we're, we're just gonna keep going but when this movie came out my grandma would have been 17 years old I'm, I'm sure she saw the movie so i'm gonna ask her what it was like during this time like what what was everyone saying when this movie came out like what did you think about this movie when it first came out what was the general consensus on this movie that would be really interesting to hear i'm gonna ask her tomorrow and i'll probably add a clip to this video letting you guys know what she said so but yeah that was psycho comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments and if you like the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.